Hello and welcome to another tutorial for ArtRidge Studio Pro. Um, I was asked over at the forums how to create a new preset for the canvases. I'm actually going to cover a lot of different stuff uh, for anybody who might need uh, more extensive knowledge of how to import grains and everything. Uh, but just to get right to the point of answering his particular question, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and directly show you how to save a canvas, okay? So let's say that this particular canvas is a canvas I want to continually use, okay? What I would want to do is just go up to View. I'd go down to Canvas Settings and select that, and that'll open up my Canvas panel. Uh, at this point, I'd want to select a group to add the canvas to, all right? Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you that real quick and just say Add Group, and I'm just going to type in Tutorial. Click OK or hit Enter to add that in, and you can see that I now have a new group at the bottom here called Tutorial. At this point, I can just click on the New button here. You see my uh, Save As window appeared, and I'm just going to call this Tutorial again. I'll call it Tutorial Canvas. Either click Save or hit Enter, and you can see that my Tutorial Canvas has been entered in as a new Canvas preset. Okay. So now if I were to close ArtRage and open ArtRage again, I could go up to File, click on New Painting, and go through my menu here and find Tutorial, Tutorial Canvas, and select it and use that as my canvas. And there it is, ready to use whenever I need it. Okay? Um, so that's how you do it directly. All right, so... Now I'm going to get into how to import your own grains and everything. Okay, so let's say we're going to start from scratch completely. Okay, we're going to create a new canvas to the height and width we want to use, uh, the resolution we want to use, the color we want to use, and the texture we want to use completely from scratch. Uh, what we want to do is go to File, and we're going to select New Painting. And that opens up our New Painting panel. Okay, so we want to go ahead and select the width and the height that we want to use. I'm just going to leave them as they are there, but uh, you know, you just click on there and type it in, or you can select from your uh, list here. Okay, uh, you want to choose your pixels per inch. I'm going to leave it at 72 for this because it's just a tutorial. And then you want to choose the canvas grain you want to use. Uh, and to do that, if I just hover over this canvas panel here, you can see it says Open Canvas Preset Picker. Okay. You just click on this preview window, and that opens up your canvas panel. Okay, so at this point we're going to select the grain that we're going to use. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, first of all, you could go to this menu and opt to select the grain from your computer. Okay, so if I click on that, you can see it opens up my browsing window, and I can just go ahead and select the grain, click open, and it'll put that in there for me to use. That's the simplest way to get it there. And that's pretty good, you know, if you're not going to be doing much with this grain, okay? Because uh, all it does is bring it in for the canvas itself. And you could save that canvas as a preset and everything, but uh, it's not going to allow you to be able to select that grain for use with the different layers, all right? Um, in order to get that, uh, that grain imported for use uh, all the time with different layers, uh, no matter what, you want to go to the uh, upper right window here, and you can see it says choose canvas grain. If you click on that, it opens up this panel here for paper grains. Okay. Now, at this point, you would either add a group or select a group to put it in. Uh, just to show you, I'm going to click on add group, and I'm just going to name it tutorial. Either click OK or hit Enter, and you can see that that creates a group in there for you. And I'm going to import grain, okay? And I'm just going to import this upper left one. Okay, so there it is. I just imported that grain for my use with my layers and my canvas textures, okay? So I'm going to select that, okay? Be sure to select it after you import it. And then click OK. Because if you don't select it, it doesn't select it for you to put in here. It just imports it. Okay, so... I just imported that grain and selected it for use, and now it's in here. I could choose my color, okay, and to do that I just clicked on this middle uh, tab here. It's default white. 
Uh, I like to change it to an off-white. That's my personal preference, but that's up to you. Uh, you can change the opacity. All right. So if you don't want a background to be seen, uh, if let's like, say you're saving as a PNG and you wanted a transparent background, you can change that here. I usually leave it at 100%. That's my preference. Uh, you can change your metallic setting. Okay. Uh, I should note though, if you increase your metallic setting at this point, and you use a tool like the watercolor tool, where the color tends to be transparent, and then you select that color using the eyedropper tool, uh, the color that you select off of that metallic canvas is going to show up down here in your metallic dial. Okay, so right now you see it says 0% down here. If I were to paint on there with a high metallic, it would probably give me like a 20% metallic pickup. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you're painting on a, a canvas with a high metallic setting. Uh, then you get your roughness. Okay, this affects how your colors break. Okay, with the various tools. So if you're using the chalk or the watercolor, uh, the chalk will break and uh, pick up only on the high parts of the canvas, while the watercolor will seep into the uh, recesses. All right, so that is something to keep in mind when you're setting your roughness. Uh, if you go down to zero percent, it's going to be perfectly smooth, and you can see that reflected here in the preview. Okay, uh, so it'd be like you're drawing on glass at zero percent. I'm going to put it at 50 percent, uh, and you can invert that by clicking on the plus and minus here. Okay, and you can see again in the preview that that changes there. And then you get your grain size. If you lower that, it gets smaller. Increase it, it increases the size of the grain. Okay. So I'm going to put that back at 50. All right, so I should be all set at this point. Okay, I've selected my grain. I've saved it within the grain panel. Um, I've changed my settings to where I want them. And I can just click OK. And I click OK again to create my uh, canvas. And there it is, off-white canvas. It's got that paper texture I chose. If I go ahead and draw on that with the charcoal, uh, you can see, you know, uh, how it's breaking up on the uh, rough canvas. Okay, or I can use a watercolor and you can see how that's breaking up on there as well. Okay, so let's say you're happy with that canvas. You do as I showed you at the beginning. You just uh, go up to view, open up your canvas settings panel again, and opt to save that. Okay, by clicking on that menu uh, and saying new canvas preset. Or you can uh, click on the new tab here. Uh, now I should mention, if you notice, it's grayed out right now. And if I chose new canvas preset here, nothing would happen. That's because I'm on the favorites group. Okay, in favorites, you can't add anything to that specifically. Okay, you have to choose either your own group or a group that's already pre-existing that isn't favorites. Okay, so I'm going to choose tutorial, and at this point, I can click on new, and you'll see that it brings up the save panel, where I can give it a name and proceed on. Okay, and there it is, saved. So, that's how you do it. Hope it helps.